Greetings from the road. This is Freighter Jim. It's a beautiful spring morning here in Kentucky. You're looking at Paul Shin's 1931 Model A Tudor, a beautiful car, two-tone green. He nicknamed it the General. Paul runs the largest YouTube channel for Model A people. He asked me, when I met him, he recommended me to haul this car. He sold it to a guy in Kentucky out of California. He asked me to do a video on how to properly tie down a Model A, and that's what I'm gonna do. These tips work for me. I've transported over 450 Model Ts, over 200 Model As, and I go through a process to try to refine it and get the best possible way to keep a car secured, whether you're going cross country or whether you're going to a car show. So we'll start with what you see here, which is a board. Now on this trailer, they didn't give me a transition flap. So I cut a piece of dimensional lumber and notched it for the hinges. But I put that in front of the tires. And then I use what's called a wood socket, which is meant to be used with side mount E-Track and take a piece of wood to keep loads from shifting inside the trailer. Unfortunately, the way this E-Track is welded in, it's recessed, the socket only goes one direction, so it goes to the sidewall. But I use it to keep the board from shifting. Now, this is one way that you can put a wheel chalk behind the front wheels to keep them from shifting. This is just a way to be creative. This way the vehicle can't roll back and go into the ramp door, especially in an emergency situation. You'll see that I've cross-tied. That's to keep the vehicle from shifting. Now he's got Buffalo wire wheels on here. I use axle straps. And then going into the trailer, you'll note I've got a max axle strap there. It goes to a ratcheting strap that's in line. And I do the same thing on the other wheel. And I pull it to the center. By pulling the vehicle to the center, you keep the vehicle from pulling apart. This keeps the vehicle from shifting inside the trailer. This is what I call a seven point tie down. I take the strap to the wheel Take it to the center. You can use a D-ring or E-track. Do the same thing with the other wheel. And then I've got the synthetic rope on the rear of the trailer. This vehicle has remained in place for the trip out from Kentucky to California. Occasionally I'll take and check the straps, take and check the winch line. But the key is to keep the vehicle together to keep it tied to the center, not to pull it apart. I've experimented with all different kinds of ways, wheel straps, everything. This works best for me. It may not work best for you. I've been on the road providing direct and closed transport since 2006. I go year round subject to prevailing weather conditions. If you need direct and closed transport, you can call me 260-804 6695, I transport to travel. I travel to tell stories from the road. So remember, the key is to keep your vehicle from moving inside the trailer back and forth and side to side to the curbside. This works good for me, may not work good for you. That's it, have a nice day. Remember, drive safe, arrive alive.